execution of Carrie Dean Murr was the execution by lethal injection by the state of Nebraska in the United States. It was the first execution in Nebraska using lethal injection, and the first use of capital punishment in Nebraska since 1997. The execution was the first in the United States to use fentanyl. Carrie Dean Murr was born on October 26, 1957. In Omaha, Nebraska, Moore was sentenced to death in 1980 for the murders of Ruel Van Ness Jr. and Maynard Helgeland, two cab drivers in Omaha. Both were 47 years old. Moore was 22 at the time. In August 1979, along with his 14-year-old younger brother, Moore approached Van Ness, who had stopped his car. He pointed a gun at the back of his head, demanding money. Van Ness reached for the gun, and Moore fired. He and his brother then drove off in the victim's car. Moore characterized the shooting as accidental. But his second murder was not. He said he had to foolishly prove to himself that he could take a man's life all by himself. Moore said he entered another cab. And when the cab driver stopped at his destination he shot three bullets into this second man, right in his head. At trial, Moore's defense lawyers presented stories from his siblings about how their father had bitten him constantly as a child. He was found guilty of first-degree murder, and sentenced to death. As he appealed his death sentence, Murr eventually became Nebraska's longest-serving death row prisoner. He faced a series of execution dates, but these were halted, most recently in 2007 and 2011 as Nebraska courts upheld challenges to the state's execution methods. In May 2018, Moore formally asked the Nebraska Supreme Court to allow him to stop appealing his death sentence, in effect paving the way for his execution later in the summer. A pen pal of Moore's said he was tired of living on death row and believed God had forgiven him for the murders. The execution took place on August 14, 2018 at the Nebraska State Penitentiary where Moore had been on death row since his conviction for killing two cab drivers in 1979. Moore was one of the United States' longest-serving death row inmates. The execution used a novel drug cocktail of diazepam, fentanyl, cyzotracurium, and potassium chloride. The German manufacturer of two of the drugs, Fresenius Cabby, sued the state of Nebraska and sought a restraining order to halt the execution. Because EU law prohibits German companies from supplying pharmaceuticals that are used for capital punishment, which is regarded as a grave violation of international human rights law. In Germany and other European countries, and because the manufacturer asserted that Nebraska authorities had acquired the drugs by fraud, and in violation of the distribution contract, which expressly prohibits sale, resale or distribution to American prisons. The lawsuit was part of a wider backlash against American prisons, for using drugs obtained from European manufacturers in violation of the laws of their countries of origin. Capital punishment has been abolished in all countries of the European Union, and the EU requires that all EU companies not provide drugs for lethal injection. The absolute ban on the death penalty is enshrined in both the Charter of Fundamental Rights of the European Union and the European Convention on Human Rights. And the use of the death penalty is therefore regarded as a grave violation of international human rights law in Europe. 
Frosini is cabbie, only sells the products in question with a legally binding clause, that they may not be sold, resold or distributed to prisons or used in executions. Frosini is cabbie asserted that the drugs could only have been obtained by defendants in contradiction and contravention of the distribution contract the company has in place and therefore through improper or illegal means and said the execution would cause reputation damage. Nebraska denied the charge that it had acquired the drugs by fraud, deceit or misrepresentation. The United States District Court for the District of Nebraska denied the company's motion for a temporary restraining order, whereby the court relied on the truthfulness of Nebraska Department of Correctional Services Director Scott R. Frake's testimony. Unless Director Fraser is lying, it would seem that the court held that the company's position that delaying Murr's execution would not disrupt the public interest in Nebraska was laughable, and that the company's position that the illegal use of its product in a killing, violating the law of the country, the company was based in would cause irreparable corporate reputation harm, were without merit. Stating that this lawsuit has generated worldwide coverage of the plaintiff's desire, to avoid any association with the death penalty and therefore wouldn't be held accountable. The court further declared that the execution would be of major public interest. In this case, it has everything to do with the functioning of democracy. The United States Court of Appeals for the Eighth Circuit affirmed the district court's decision in its entirety. Lawsuits are part of a trend whereby it has become increasingly difficult for United States authorities to legally buy drugs for the use in executions. Due to widespread adoption of distribution contracts by pharmaceutical companies banning distribution to prisons and use in executions, especially European pharmaceutical companies, have pushed back against violations of the distribution contracts in the United States prohibiting straw buying by prisons for capital punishment. In response to the lawsuit, Nebraska's prison's director Scott Frakes acknowledged that Nebraska would not be able to buy the drugs used in Murr's execution again. Frakes said he had been turned down by 40 pharmacies when trying to buy the drugs, due to the pharmacy's legal obligation not to sell the drugs to prisons. Thank you for watching Death Row.